Hi, this is Janie with Paper Compulsions. I wanted to show you a explosion box that I had made using Graphic 45 papers. Um, if you follow my blog, you may remember last summer when I made this little beach hut box that opens up as an explosion box and you have wave decorations here and on the corners. And then in this section, was a little sand castle that the box lifts up and you can um, store little trinkets like seashells or something like that in it. And this was really cute and I liked it. I made all the cut files for the waves and everything and the sand castle and all that myself and I really liked it. But I saw the new Graphic 45 travel log papers and thought how much cooler would that be with those papers. And I used the um, it's a tiki torch, I think, or tiki paper on this side. And then the reverse side of that is on the roof. And I just made several different layers and bent the edges up. And then I took some of the graphics and cut them out. This was a tra tropical travelogue plaque thing. Um, some of the flowers on the pages. I took a lot of the leaves and cut them out and shaped them. And I love this little guy. I took a little lizard. You can see him right here. Iguana. And put him on there. And I put a beach sign. That is double sided. on the. Or it has two different images that are mirror images to each other on the paper. And I just cut them out and glued them together so that you see it from this side and this side. I made seashells that were my cut files, and on this part, this section in here, I just embossed it with pearlized embossing powder, and it looks kind of cool on the inside of this shell. And here, I, there's another shell that I made for my cut files, and I cut a leaf and some flowers, more leaves than a flower, and another flower. And I have some um, cardstock down here that looks like sand. On this section, that was actually white cardstock, and I inked it with, I think it was tumbled glass to look blue. And this is brown coordinations cardstock that I ran through and um, wood grain embossing folder that it's an old Fiskars embossing plate, actually. And uh, then I inked it, and I'm not sure how much you can tell on camera, but it looks like it has a wood grain on the edges that I thought was really cool. And then the best thing is you lift that up, and that portion is the lid to the box, and this is the bottom of the box, and you open it up, and you have these gorgeous graphic 45 papers. This is the one with the fish and then that was the reverse side and then fish again. And you could put pictures all in there and then on the corners I have um, this blue lined paper and this is actually the flip side which is you see a little bit of these graphics but I think it's kind of cool. You're really not going to be looking at it from that angle a lot. So it opens up and you have your wave pages. And then what I love, and I have not glued these down yet, sorry. I made these little palm trees. I actually made them um, last summer when I was working on something. But for this section I made like a little island with the seashells and these little palm trees. And what I did was I cut a slit in the island and these palm trees, you get this base on there and then I wrapped the base in these, this paper that I cut and um, it has little bitty cuts in it. I don't know how to <laughs> describe that. Um, and I inked it and then I wrapped it all around the tree. And then these sections, it's like a, kind of like a flower shape would be. It's got five petals, if I can show you that, or five leaves. 
and then I've um, glued them together, staggering the leaf fronds, and so it looks like a palm tree. And then I, let's see if I can show you. If this was the base of the tree, I cut a, I cut a little bit over that would fold this way, and then I glued another piece of paper that would fold that way if it was smaller. Yeah. It would fold that way so that this kind of made a T, capital T, can you see that? And then that's what I glued down on the bottom section and I just cut a slit through my beach layer and fed that through and then opened it up kind of like you would a brad on the other section and I would glue that on the actual bottom of the box so that they stand up when they're done. And here's another shell. I need to glue these in. I haven't done that yet. And I'm probably will come up with something else colorful to put on the beach because it needs a little splash of color but haven't decided that yet. Maybe some more flowers. But I just thought that was really cool and I wanted to share it with you. I thought it was it was neat when I came up with the I did before with regular cardstock, but it was even cooler with the graphic 45 paper. And this just folds back up and you put your lid on and I'm going to match it up. I know which side had which decorations so that it goes back together just like that. And on this, I inked the edges really well so that you didn't notice the seam quite as much. So, it was really fun, and I have to go find some beach pictures to go put in it. So, have fun with it. Thanks for watching. Bye.